animate the camera inside Unreal. Click on Layers or Windows and check the Layers checkbox. Hide the trees to make the program work faster. We fly closer to the houses. Now we will make the composition of the frame and then set the camera. We set the composition to make the frame interesting. It is necessary to spend enough time on the construction of the composition that the picture looks more effective. Finding a composition can be time consuming, but it must be done. When we have found the composition, turn on the hidden layers and fix the camera position. To find common shots, turn off the heavy layers and keep circling around the objects in search of interesting shots. Create a camera, as shown in the video. Click Create camera here, then Cine Camera Actor. Click Perspective and choose the camera you just created. The camera is fixed. Changing the current focal length will make the lens narrower or wider. You can see that I'm changing values, but nothing happens. It's clearly a glitch. Save the progress, close the program and open the project again. Unreal is a very stable program, but glitches do happen. If you're sure that you are doing everything right when it glitches, just restart the program. Go to Layers, turn off the trees. In the search box, type in the name of the camera. Now everything is working fine. I keep changing the position of the camera. When I'm almost sure of the camera position, turn on the trees. We turn on the trees. There is an empty space on the right that needs to be filled in. We choose a tree and copy it and put it in the empty space. The composition gets better. We move the camera to make the picture look interesting and not too much light. The contrast appears due to the open space. The composition is set up. We can turn off the trees and go to the search line. Select Active Camera. Click on the object that you want to focus on. By turning on Draw Debug Focus, you can see where the focus radius actually is. Lowering the current aperture settings will increase the focus, but it's limited by the min f-stop value, so reduce that value. Trees can be displayed. The effect of the focus can now be seen more clearly. Let's set the current aperture value to 2. In order to focus on the desired object, we repeat the steps shown in the video. To animate the camera, we have to create another sequencer. Go to Content Drawer, then Animation, then Level Sequence. Drag and drop the current camera into sequence. Change the parameters as shown in the video. Set it to 60 FPS. At frame 0, put a key. Shift camera position and fix key by pressing round button. Move back to frame 0 and press to create key.
We set the animation to the 300s frame. Move it and fix the key again. In this way, we create a displacement of the camera, or more precisely, its animation. By default, the animation is created non-linear. Click on the graph image. Then select all keys and press the additional button. Set the parameters as shown in the video. It is possible to extend the window. Click either for or on the icons. This is all the steps that need to be done for the camera animation. The next thing we can enable is light animation. By analogy, you can animate any object, movement, and any other parameter.